Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So um, I posted something on my Instagram story asking you guys to give me video suggestions or just like overall what you would want to see on my channel. And um, a lot of you actually said you wanted faith-based videos and I don't really have a ton of ideas for that. So if you have more, please comment them down below because I would love to do videos that you guys want to see. But today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite devotionals, Bible studies, all that good stuff. Without further ado, let's jump on into the video. So first I'm going to show y'all what Bible I use. I have a Zonder, Zondervan, I think is how you say it. If that's wrong, I'm sorry. Artisan Bible. Looks like this and it just says, God is within her, she will not fall. And then it has Psalm 46, 5 on the back. It says Holy Bible on the side and it's an NIV, but it's super pretty. I like it a lot i just have these pink tabs from amazon and then the inside this is just a random page but it has like the note taking pages on the side which i really love a lot i absolutely love this it's been very well loved there's lots <laughs> and lots of notes in here but uh, the first devotional i'm going to be showing you guys is one that you can use every day and i really like it and it's the jesus calling devotional by sarah young i believe yes there's like a devotional for every day and i feel like it's so weird i just feel like this one always applies to something that's going on in my life which is so crazy to me but um it gives you a little message and then gives you some verses to go along with it so i like to read that and just kind of underline and circle stuff that means something to me and then i'll go highlight the verses in my bible usually and then um, i'll usually take little notes on that as well but i really love this it's perfect for everyday use it takes maybe five ten minutes to do it does not take a lot of time at all it's just an easy way to sneak some jesus into your day so the next one is the jesus calling for graduates by sarah young and this is pretty much the same thing there's different sections in this one like this section is called dependence there's another section which is god's presence and it's the same um layout you get like a short little message and then some verses that go with it it's pretty much the same as the other devotional, but I do like it a lot as well. So the next couple I'm going to be talking about are from the Delight Ministries. And if you follow me on social media, you know I am involved in the Delight Ministries on my campus. I love them. They have amazing devotionals. You can do them daily. Um, if you're in like a chapter on a college campus, you have weekly meetings. So this would be like a weekly devotional to do but I love them so much. Delight Ministries is a women's Christian ministry on college campuses. You don't have to be in college to order their books. They do have a website. I'll link, um, I'll try to find all of these and link them in the description, but you don't have to be in college to get them, but um, you can join it kind of like a club if you are in college. A lot of campuses do have Delight chapters, but um, the first one is their volume one book. And basically how these are is um, it has like the first um, little chapters about God the Father. And um, you just read a story. These are written by women that are in college as well. So and then it has a story and then it'll connect it through scripture towards the end. And then you have like the taking it deeper section and that's when it will connect the story she told to a story that's in the Bible. And it has you reading scripture and then you have a putting it into practice where you just kind of um, work on understanding scripture translating it um giving it a meaning that you understand and then you have the conversation starters which um if you are in a delight chapter these are like the questions you'll discuss at your meeting and then at the end there's delight day ideas if you are on a college campus you basically get paired with another girl in your chapter and you go on a delight date and you pretty much just do our chapter just did you do whatever you just spend time with your date but um they give you ideas and ideas for stuff to talk about and then it just has a little quote at the end but i really loved this this was something that helped me to be more involved on campus and really helped my transition into school 
but um, it also helped me to grow closer to God while at college. So these are super good. So this next one is from my second semester of college and it is over the book of John and it is also by the Delight Ministries. This one is a little different. Let's find the start of a chapter. So this one starts guiding you through, um, this is over John chapter seven and nine. So it guides you through that and has you answer um, questions throughout the way just to make sure you're comprehending what you're reading. And then it has a story written by um, women that are in college that kind of connects to the story or that connects to the scripture that you just read. And then at the end, it has the same conversation starters as the other book and then has the delight date stuff and then like a highlight scripture from what we just read at the end. But this is over James and this is their summer series. I'm still working on it. I'm on week four. Go to, we'll just look at this week. This book is a similar layout to the John book. It like guides you through reading scripture, has you answer questions as you read. There's like in this one, there's some fill in the blanks and stuff like that. It has you answer like a um, question at the end. So it's a little different, similar structure, similar layout. All of their books are pretty much the same layout. But this one has been really good so far and it's really like called me out, but it's so good. But this is their original for the girl book. I believe they still sell this. This um, book is on dating and relationships and um, I feel like this book was directed more at um, girls who are single right now. I've read a couple of the chapters that have kind of applied to people in relationships, but um, a lot of them are more directed towards single women. So if you are single, this is seriously an amazing book. I read a couple of the chapters and they just didn't apply to me, but like if I was single, they would be super good. If you are looking to grow your relationship with God, while you are single and preparing for your future love, then this would be seriously such an amazing devotional. There is 10 chapters, I believe. And so this layout, you read a story. So the first chapter is for the girl who is anxious about being single. And you kind of read through a story. It um, like adds scripture throughout it. Like this is a verse right here. And then at the end, it has little kind of writing prompts, like reflection questions. I did read through this chapter, but it just, it just didn't really apply to me. So I've read a couple of the other ones, but um, it has some key verses, little reflection questions, and then a like lined page at the end for you to just reflect on what you've read. So this next one I love so much. It's by Grace Valentine and it's called Am I Enough? And it's about embracing the truth about who you are. And I am right about smack dab in the middle of it. It's seriously so good. We're gonna go to the previous chapter. These are a lot shorter. So there's like, it's divided up, which they explained this in the beginning, but it's divided up into 10 lies that you're told. And then there's a couple chapters for each lie. So you could make this like a 10, section devotional or there's 30 chapters so you could divide it up and make it like a 30 section devotional but um it's about like lies that you were told like the first one is you are beautiful because a guy told you so number two is love must be earned and then um like the little chapters underneath the first one are like who cares what guys think and chapter two is beautiful in God's sight. I've absolutely loved it so far. Um, I think I got this on Amazon, so I'll try to find it and link it in the description. The last one is one I actually haven't started yet. It's called Seamless by Angie Smith, and it's about understanding the Bible is one complete story. And it's a seven session Bible study, so you can buy some of these on Amazon and do it with some of your friends. So week one is about the beginning. There's like a session guide, introduction questions. There's a video that goes with it, discussion questions. And then like a section you read through and as you answer some questions on like a scale of one to 10. So that was day one and then it will go into day two, which is about creation and fall. So it just kind of pieces everything that happens in the bible into one big story and helps you understand like the connections between the old and new testament how 
stuff repeats itself and stuff like that it's i'm super excited to read it so that was all of my favorite devotional slash bible studies i hope you all enjoyed watching this video be sure to comment more um, video suggestions whether they are faith-based like today's video or just in general i have a lot of ideas but i would love to hear what you guys would like to see um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell so that you are notified when I upload and I will see you all in my next video.